the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, let it be unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, womb Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And the Word became flesh and walked among us. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may become worthy of the promises of Christ. The mother of Jesus said, do whatever he tells you. sacrament of Holy Eucharist as Christ comes to us through the bread and the wine, through the Word, through the Holy Spirit. Let us be still and know God. Come Holy Spirit, Fill the hearts of your people. Kindle in us the fire of your love. And then those tired of man are spirit land in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open 
all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us call to mind the ways in which we have put a block between us and God, the source of our life, and between each other. And let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against Thee in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please Thee in newness of life, to the honour and glory of Thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. To Him be glory forever. To Him be glory forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Son. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Son. To Him be glory forever. To Him be glory forever. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah. Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us be still for the readings. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 14, verses 17 to 20. After his return from the defeat of Hetor Loama and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the valley of Shave, that is the king's valley. And King Melchizedek of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God Most High. He blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram by God Most High, maker of heaven and earth, and blessed be God Most High who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him one-tenth of everything. Psalm 128 How abundant is your goodness, O Lord! Blessed are all those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the toil of your hands. It shall go well with you, and happy shall you be. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord! Your wife within your house shall be like a fruitful vine, your children round your table like fresh olive branches. Thus shall the one be blessed who fears the Lord. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord! The Lord from out of Zion bless you, that you may see Jerusalem in prosperity all the days of your life. May you see your children's children, and may there be peace upon Israel. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verses 6 to 10. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of mighty thunder peals, crying out, Hallelujah! For the Lord our God the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. To her it has been granted to be clothed with fine linen, bright and pure. For the linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your comrades who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. This is the word of the Lord. Listen to the 
Gospel of Christ according to John. Praise to you, O Lord. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine, and did not know where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia. us grace to receive it, to understand it and to obey it, for the glory of Christ our Saviour. Amen. Amen. Jesus enjoys the party and wants us to live life to the full. Sometimes we can feel bad about feeling good. There are some people, maybe more than we think, who seem to think that to be a good Christian they always have to be making sacrifices. If they go out to have a good time they come back afterwards feeling guilty. If they think they are going to really enjoy life, well, there must be something wrong. As Christians, perhaps sometimes we can be too pious. Yet, in today's Gospel, we read a story about Jesus and his mother and his disciples joining in and enjoying a friend's wedding party. Do we feel that Jesus should just have attended the wedding ceremony, that's the religious part, and kept away from the festivities? Or do we have a problem with Mary and the disciples enjoying a party with friends? The theme in John's Gospel is that Jesus is the source of life. And in chapter 10, Jesus says, I have come in order that you might have life, life in all its fullness. To be a Christian is to experience a real sense of liberation, to experience a new life, a new sense of happiness, a new peace, a new relationship with people. From Advent through Christmas and Epiphany, we've been seeing God revealing himself in Jesus. And today in John's Gospel, God reveals himself when Jesus performs his first sign. John doesn't call them miracles, but signs. Signs of God acting among his people. There are seven such signs in John's Gospel, and through the coming months we'll have the chance to explore what each one of them means. To understand today's story, we need to be aware that, like much of John's writing, 
It's full of symbolic language. We would miss much if we were to see only here a, a miracle by which Jesus helps the young bridegroom. The young bridegroom who finds himself in an embarrassing position on his wedding day. The embarrassing position of failing to offer hospitality. John tells us there were six large stone pots full of water. They were there for the ceremonies of washing and purification, which were required by tradition on entering the house before eating. They represent the laws and religious customs of the Hebrew people. There are six, which is one short of the complete number seven. John gives a lot of meaning to numbers, especially to the number seven. Through Jesus' intervention, the water in these jars is transformed into wine, and first-class wine at that. As the Master of Ceremonies said, you've kept the best wine until now. The wine represents the Christian Testament, the new life, the new way of Jesus. It takes the place of the ritual water of the Old Covenant. In the confrontation between the Jewish leaders and Jesus in Mark's Gospel, Jesus speaks of the new wine which cannot be put into old wineskins. In other words, the new vision of life that Jesus brings can only be understood by leaving behind traditional ways of thinking and doing. And John tells us there's an awful lot of wine. Each jar, we're told, could hold up to 20 or 30 gallons. That's altogether something in the region of 120 to 180 gallons of wine. That's a lot for one party. So this then is a symbol of God's generosity. God's offering us liberty and the fullness of life which he wants us to experience. This wedding feast today reminds us of the meal we celebrate every Sunday, the Eucharist. And when we gather to eat and drink around the table of the Lord, we are celebrating the wedding feast. Our meal at the Eucharist is also a time of celebration. And there's something sadly missing if we come to church expecting a dull experience. It's through the sacraments that we meet Jesus. It's by sharing in the worship and witnessing Christian community that we learn about the life that God in Jesus wants us to enjoy and share with him. Jesus was born into the human race so that we become his brothers and sisters, the children of his loving father. We're invited to a great party, and as the antiphon to today's Gospel reading reminds us, the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. It's a time for great rejoicing, as all weddings always are. Joy and celebration are the fundamentals to the Christian life. So today's thought for the week, something to mull over every day, is how do I do more to share the joy of my Christian faith during this coronavirus pandemic? How do I do more to share the joy of my Christian faith during this coronavirus pandemic? Keep safe. Keep your distance, wash your hands and wear a face mask. And soon, very soon, we'll be allowed to meet again together in church to celebrate the Eucharistic feast of the wedding of the Lamb. And now to God the Father, through God the Son, in the power of God the Holy Spirit, be all might, majesty, dominion, power and praise, henceforth, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.
the week between the confession of Peter and the conversion of Paul is always held as the week of prayer for Christian unity. And in today's service, we have the Eucharistic feast as a symbol, a sacramental symbol of our unity. And I am standing at the font, another sacramental symbol of our spiritual unity. And so today we use the prayers for the unity of the church in the week of prayer for Christian unity. Let us pray to the Father, whose love draws all things in heaven and earth into one. Grant to all Christian people the mutual love which is the duty of those called to be your own. Strengthen our respect for our brothers and sisters, for those who acknowledge Christ in ways which are different from ours and draw us towards the unity that is your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bring the whole world closer to you in desire for peace and better understanding. Take away prejudices which condemn any of your human family. We remember the troubled areas of the world where there is conflict, where there is hatred. Teach people to seek fulfilment, not in selfish interests, but in the service of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Make us all witnesses to our faith in harmony with our families, friends and neighbours. Help us to remember that we are all brothers and sisters in one family. Draw together those in this community who are separated from others and give them the desire to work for the good of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who feel cut off from human fellowship because of their race or colour or way of life. Grant them the assurance of their worth and give to those who have rejected them the grace to seek and welcome them in love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for those who have lived the life of faith on earth and now are gathered into eternal unity of the church in heaven. Rejoicing in their fellowship, may we learn to rejoice with one another, that we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a few moments of quiet, we bring before God our own troubles and needs, the problems and worries of our friends and neighbours. But more importantly, we remember to give thanks for prayers which have been so wonderfully answered. Father, we humbly ask that our prayers may be united with the prayers of all who confess the faith of Christ. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. The 
peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. I appeal to you, sisters and brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. All things come of thee, and of thine own do we give thee. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and abundant duty that we should, at all times and in all places, give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God. Troyes i Gris, dein hart gloed sydd troi a'i angau, a'i hyn wedi dinistio angau, a troi a'i atgyfodiad i fywyd wedi adfer i ni fywyd dragoeddol. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. A gogoniant, a maul a dioch a voiti, hochachioch thiw, ain't ar nefol creaduach yn halw popeth. Ah, when I fear Udin at the Deludahim, all glory, praise, and thanksgiving be unto thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, Creator and Sustainer of all things, Maker of humankind in thine own image, who gave us thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. There he made the one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memorial of that his precious death until his coming again. Gan hynny o dad y garaw gyfan nhw'n anna tanctaidio a thysbryd blaen y rhoddi o'n hyn o fara a gwyn fel y gallwn ni a dderf byn yn ôl o dyn hyn. Sanctaid dy fab a'n gwredw, yes i grys, therefore we beseech thee, O merciful Father, to sanctify with thy Holy Spirit these thy gifts of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ's holy institution, may be partakers of his most precious body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Berin Moth, where he supper, after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as oft as you shall drink it in remembrance of me.
Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, making the memorial of the Blessed Passion, mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of thy dearly beloved Son, as he hath commanded us, rejoicing in his gift to the Holy Spirit, and looking for his coming again with power and great glory, we, thy servants, with all thy holy people, do set forth before thy divine majesty this bread of eternal life and this cup of everlasting salvation. And we beseech thee to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and to grant to us and thy whole church remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And we pray that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be fulfilled with thy grace and heavenly benediction and be numbered in the glorious company of thy saints. Troy as he greets, Stein Heirgloy the Bo, Troy do ev, and do ev, a chadag ev, and in daughter as Briglan, a Bob and Radda, the Gogoni Antiti, or Dart or Fathio, world without end. Amen. The bread which we break. Is it not the communion of the body of Christ? We who are many are one bread, one body. For we all share in the one bread. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, Grant us thy peace. As our Saviour Jesus Christ taught us, we are bold to say, I tag a full night in an airboy, Sanctai the Adoena, Dele de Denas. Gwenello do wythus, megis an an air, fethli ar a ddau o hefyd. Dyro yn i heddiw a'i barab yn y ddiol, a maddau yn i a'i'n dyledio, fel a maddau yn i nai i'n dyledio, ac na chadwai ni i'n brofod i gaith, aeth y gwared ni i'n rhagdru. Can y saith o ti o dainas, a gathri, a gogoniant, yn oes o'i swydd. Amen. Caffae white Christ at Gadu on Bowe Trequito. Amen. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in eternal life. Draw near, receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ given for you. Feed on him in your hearts with faith and thanksgiving.
Almighty Father, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, is the light of the world. May your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, shine with the radiance of his glory, that he may be known, worshipped and obeyed to the ends of the earth, for he is alive and reigns now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious. For his love endureth forever. Almighty God, we thank thee for feeding us with the body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, through whom we offer to thee our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of thy Spirit to live and work to thy praise and glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all and all. Amen. Oh. 